Welcome to Sam's Antique Motors. We're about to start up working on this Farmall B. It looks like it's uh, pretty good shape. I restored the uh, Farmall C for Mr. Weldon, and in exchange for that, he gave me this tractor. It looks like it's 6'2", and I can't tell if that, that's Q or O, but June 2nd uh, of O, and uh, it's actually in pretty good shape. The body works a lot better than what it was on the C. It's got all the little lights. Uh, it's a magneto-driven 23-horsepower motor. Um, I can't tell what the number is. Three, looks like 6.3 or 3.3, 4.2DH maybe. Um, it's got, in some respects, the body's a little better. Gas tank definitely got some slight dings in it. One right there. Um, the normal ones that are made in manufacturing up there, but this is a real cool little tractor. Um, it's definitely got a little more kind of rust and peeling paint on it, but I think it's going to turn out really nice. The grill is in much better shape. I took the uh, split wheel tricycle off because I'm going to go get new wheels put on it because they're not holding air. Radiator's shell is looking really nice. Um, even has this screening in here that the other one didn't have um generator looks like this is broken cut out but the motor actually turns over just with the fan belt so it's got some compression on it because it's not going past that but it's free um so that should make it uh, a nice start pull the carburetor off carburetor looks okay it's all froze up but it'll come across nicely and uh this uh, battery box is present. It's missing the lid. I think I can just get a lid for it, though. No problem. Um, the controls here seem to be working. Um, the PTO is not engaging, so I'm not really sure what's with that. And I see a big drip of oil right here on the ground. So that's coming, I assume, out of that rear transmission case. So probably have to go ahead and crack the case. Sounds like the brakes were grinding a little bit, too. So we're going to have to check the brakes out on it which we didn't have to do on the other one. But uh, as far as a general walk around, this is just a really cool tractor. Um, you got the original rear light. Glass, missing the gasket, but the glass is in there. And the, the light housing itself is in really nice shape. Uh, so we're going to see if we can't get this one uh, cleaned up like we did the other one and uh, make it as pretty as the other one. So there you go, next project, part one. I just pulled the radiator shell off, and this actually looks like it's in really good shape. So it had this screen, the other one didn't have the screen. Now I understand what these little clips are for. So this held this screen in here, it's like it was soldered, and these shells were designed to, they knew they were gonna get beat up, so they designed it with these clips so these radiator shells are actually made in three pieces. So there's a piece for the top, a piece for the middle, a piece for the bottom. And they could, at one point, you could buy replacement pieces. Um, you know, this is actually in pretty good shape. You can see shiny metal right there, so paint's protected it. So these, uh, these should do really nice. And here's probably the only thing that's really questionable about this. These tanks appear to be nice. Um, there, there's no rust on those at all, but once you get down to this radiator, this thing is pretty badly beat up. It's holding water because this has had water in it for 10 years, but these fins are really bad. Um, they've been beat pretty hard, so this might be a radiator. It might be worth recoring. I say the tanks are in good shape. Um, it's got some rust right here where it's rusted through. Um, that could probably be fixed can be fixed um like i say the the tanks are in good shape it's just that uh that grill that's you know the fin tubes cooling tubes that are in such bad shape so we might have to run this over to bass drop radiator and get them to record this radiator well i hope you learned something today um if you did Consider subscribing to the channel and don't forget to ring that bell so you get notification of 
future videos that will be equally as exciting as the one you just watched. Now, before you go, give me a thumbs up on the video and drop a comment in the comment box if you got any kinds of questions or just think you got to sound off on something. If you have something specific you want to know how to do, well, leave me a comment and I'll see if I can't capture some content for a future video. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you back here for another Resto Rat episode real soon. Download the Resto Rat app today to begin managing, tracking, and documenting your restoration project.